merging from the bustling marketplaces of the Arabian Peninsula, the beloved beverage we know as coffee traces its etymological roots to a rather unexpected source, the ancient kingdom of Kafir in Ethiopia. It was here, amidst the verdant hills of this enigmatic land, that the first tantalizing sips of this invigorating brew were savored. The Oromo people indigenous to the Kafir region stumbled upon the stimulating properties of coffee beans centuries ago. Legend has it that goat herder named Kaldi noticed his flock, behaving peculiarly after consuming the red berries from a certain shrub. Intrigued, he sampled the berries himself and soon discovered their exhilarating effects. Word of this miraculous plant spread like wildfire, captivating the attention of Sufi mystics in Yemen. They recognized the coffee bean's potential as an aid to their nocturnal devotions, keeping them alert during long hours of prayer and contemplation. As traders and travelers ventured throughout the Middle East, they carried with them the knowledge of this extraordinary beverage. In the bustling souks of Cairo and the opulent palaces of Istanbul, coffee houses sprang up, becoming vibrant hubs where scholars, poets, and merchants gathered to sip, savor, and converse. The Arabic word karwa, referring to the roasted and ground coffee beans, gradually evolved into the Italian calf, the French café, and ultimately our English coffee. This linguistic journey reflects the far-reaching influence of this beloved beverage, which has become an integral part of cultures around the world. Today, coffee is the second most traded commodity globally, surpassed only by oil. Its aroma permeates countless homes, offices, and coffee shops, awakening senses and fueling conversations. And as we sip our morning cup or indulge in an afternoon pick-me-up, we can trace the origins of this ubiquitous drink back to the humble beginnings in the ancient kingdom of Kafir, where it all started.